Welcome back guys to episode 2 of 4 stars only. We'll be only pull for 4 star characters and weapons. Today is probably going to be kind of a short video because I don't have a lot of time to record and I could have waited to record it but there is one thing I want in this account that I might not be able to get for a very long time. Sucrose. So currently Sucrose is on higher drop rate on the rate up banner. So I kind of want to get her before the banner ends and I won't have another chance to record when the Navia and Ayakumana go. So although we can get Sucrose at any time, it's a bit of a gamble these days. As there's so many four stars now on the standard banner, it could be a while until we get Sucrose. So I kind of want to save up my Primo Gems now and maybe get as far as possible into adventure ranks we can get closer to ascending all our characters and also maybe level all our characters up to level 20. We're currently doing quite well for characters we were quite lucky so we've got two pyro characters one geo no two geo characters one hydro character one cryo character and one Electro character. The only character types we don't have are Animo and Dendro. And of course we're going to get free characters. We're going to get a free Lynette in AR25 and we're going to get a free Kali as well. So Kali we don't really need Dendro right now because the Dendro puzzles don't really start until we get to Sumeru. So all we really need now is animal character and I really want Sucrose because she's so good at grouping enemies and I think she shreds resistance as well. So yeah, I want to level these guys up all to level 20. So we got Zhang Ling at level 20 right now, but we can't ascend yet because we're until AR15. So our main goal right now is to, probably not this episode, but maybe like a, to get to AR15. Can we level her up? We can! Ooh, yes! Just get everyone up to 20. I don't know who I want to use yet. And then can we get Zincho up to 20? Zincho's pretty good so far. I think he's one of the best four stars. Like he's part of the national team. So currently this is our team. <laughs> four level 20 characters. I really want to use Barbara as well. I think Barbara would be such a good, good fun to use as well because she heals. I think Noelle heals as well though. I'm not sure. So yeah, so we've got our first four star weapons coming up, so Adventure Rank 10, so in free Adventure Ranks we have the Prototype Rancor, in AR18 we got the Favonius Warbo, that's pretty good, we can put that on Amber as well. So I guess we just need to level up our Adventure Rank to level 10, we're currently level 7, so that should be quite easy. I'll just do some quests just to get some Adventure Rank. Quest complete! Right, but that's just my knuckles. I swear I saw one around here. You can get some chests as well. If there's any chests we can get. The power of Pyro. Let me just put on a better weapon. Oh, we have a crit damage that could be good for now get some crit damage on Zing Cho. there we go do we have any polems for Zhang Ling or is she still is she still got a one star polem nope we need to build a polem for Zhang Ling maybe I just need one more animonoculus in order to go to the next level I one up here yeah there is cool I'm not fighting you There we go. That's adventure rank eight. I don't know what level we're on in the statue of the seven. Ooh, Leyline Blossoms. Fine. We have to use our resin now. Level four. Awesome. Ooh, we could do Amber Story Quest as well. Ooh, we have a lot of Stardust though, actually. Didn't realize we had one for one fate. What's our wish history? Ning Wong. So we're probably not gonna get anything. That's fine. Nope, only a free star. So sad. Let's do Kaya's story quest. So we can get up to level 10. So I looked it up and apparently when you get to AR10, you get 10 more fades. So that we should definitely focus on getting to AR10 this episode. So we can get the fades and we can pull for more characters. Yeah. 
I do literally do not remember this quest at all. I think the last time I did this was about three years ago. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the uh, adventurer's handbook. We should definitely do that as well. To wrap into level 10. And let's just do that. Let's do that. There we go. Not good at managing my resources. I don't even know where a cryo of his mage is. Scratch that. Scratch Kaya's story quest for now. I want to finish the handbook. Or at least the level I'm on anyway. Cook five dishes. There we go. It seems we unlock a lot of things at AR15. Because I generally don't really remember early game that well. I don't remember early game that well. It has been a hot minute since I have ever done this early on into the game. There's a... Oh no, this is going to be so annoying. There you go. We'll put no I'll shield on. Stop it. There you go, that's easy now. The energy recharge is not good. The energy recharge is not good. Changli is not good to play when she's got no energy recharge. A blink. Ooh, achievement. Oh, and an aminoculus. How do I even get up there with like the limited ass stamina I have. Huh? Right, we need to... We need to go slowly. We need to go slowly. Go slowly, Shanklin. Go slowly. Then we just need to get a few more chests and then we're done with chapter two. Eight more chests. We are so overpowered in this area. <laughs> Jangling is just so cute. Did we ever do this at a higher adventure rank? We'll get better rewards though. Like the amount of primo gems I got from exploring in late game was... Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the amount of rewards you get for early game is just... Nothing, basically. I guess you don't need as much though. You don't need as much early game. Right, almost done. Got some more chests. Ugh, why are they so under leveled? I guess if you just go exploring an early game, I guess they won't insta kill you. And then people might feel discouraged, I guess, if they're like, wow, all these enemies are one shotting me and I'm like level one. I, f I wanna quit, I guess. I think they all level out. It's not really much of a big difference, I don't think. Oh wait, there's no chest there. That's so mean. Oh, Jangli never gets her burst up. Jangli never gets her burst up. That was a waste. Having a hundred ER Jangling is painful. <gasps> there's Klee's little hideout. Have you ever explored everything a hundred percent and then you come across like, oh my gosh, that's so annoying. I 100 percent this like desert area in Sumeria, right? And it turns out I literally had a whole as luxury chest I never picked up. That shook me. That's chapter two done. That's 50 Prima gems for us. There we go. Got some more of that. Still a free star. I just decided I'm probably gonna do Kai and Amber's story quest a little bit later, maybe episode three, just because I don't have time to do them right now. I'd rather just do the book because it's a lot easier to deal with, I guess. And once I have more time to record, I'll definitely do the story quests. I don't even get prima gems for them. I, I mean, you just get adventure rank XP. Wow, one enhancement ore, guys. That is so cool. There we go. Tick. Now I need to go and enhance an artifact for level four. Level nine. Almost there, guys. 
There we go. Process free ingredients. All right, that'll take a few minutes. And then we'll get some more chests up in the on the way to Don't Winery. A lot of people might ask, like, why do you want to play Genjin Impact again? But, like, isn't it kind of normal in, like, certain games where you just play the game again but with, like, different traditions, like Skyrim? I mean, I don't want to compare Genjin to Skyrim, but... More in the fact that this is more, like, more challenging, I guess? Than, like, a normal Genjin Impact playthrough? <laughs> I don't know how challenging- I generally don't know how challenging it's going to be. Like, I'm not used to using four stars that often, but I know a lot of people do it, so... It's gonna be interesting. It's just refreshing to see the game when it's all so new. Especially you know how I don't really remember Mondstadt very much in the early game, because obviously for me it was such a long time ago. So it's nice, I guess, going back to the origins, to the roots of the game. <laughs> But obviously we'll be going into late game, hopefully on this account as well, so... No. Gosh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it! Oh no. Yeah, we'll catch up, Noelle. I'm glad I have characters I can actually build in early game because the problem with playing in the early game and getting like a character like, I don't know, Kale or Lena is that all their ascension materials are freaking in like Sumeru and Fontaine. So I have to literally walk to here and you can't, you can't so far go across the monster you have to go all away around the map there was a glitch i think to get there but i think it's been patched now so i don't think i can do that glitch although it would be really useful but i would literally have to walk all the way there and i don't want to do that right now and in the same with sumeru i have to walk all through Lue. <laughs> At least with characters in Mondstadt and Liyue, I can literally just ascend them past level 20. Because I can't get them to level 20, so it won't be a problem until I have to ascend them further than level 40. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine till then, no matter what character we get. But then we'll have to stop using them until... We'll start using them. Stop using them. Because you have Inazuma. Because like, yeah, I could just walk to Fontaine and just sort of go there. There's nothing stopping me. Like, there's no quest barriers I don't think I don't need to do the archon quest to get to Fontaine but if it's an Inazuma character then obviously that's quest locked unless you do a major glitch in which I don't want to do because it's tedious and I don't know how to do it <laughs> oh no can I do this oh no I can only use these with animo skills oh I get pretty much these yeah so I can't I can't do that I can't do that until I get Sucrose or Lynette oh well I guess I won't be able to get every single I'm an Oculus until till I get an animal character. No owl is freaking good, guys. She is. She's literally just tearing it apart. Three, so we need three more to get three more Prima gems. Three more Prima gems. Fifty more Prima gems. There we go. Now we need to get loads of chests. Any chests? Any chests? I really want to go on my main account and do like a stream or something where I just use the treasure tracker in Monster Lua and see how many chests I missed. <laughs> I've actually done this before, like I've seen chests. I'm like, how how have I managed to miss that? So many chests blend in so well with the scenery, like especially common chests. Sometimes they're really hard to find. Ooh! A precious chest. I'm manifesting Fischl. I could buy Fischl in the shop. Do I have any? No, I don't have any. <laughs> Monster puzzles are so easy. They're so easy. And then as it goes on, it just gets so much more difficult. Especially in the Zuma puzzles. Oh my gosh. They were the bane of my existence. I have a vivid memory of my first playthrough of Genshin. And I was in Kaya's story costuming i think and 
I got stuck in a wall with a ruin god and I literally couldn't move. Like, I'm literally stuck in the freaking wall. I was so distraught. I used to be terrified of ruin gods. It's like, you don't really see them until you go into, like, the bits of Mondstadt. Now you're just like, oh yeah, it's just a ruin god. Back then I was terrified. They reminded me of guardians in Breath of the Wild, although I think guardians like were scarier because they had those like lasers. They were terrifying if anyone's played Breath of the Wild. I'm sad they got rid of them though. I kind of wanted them in Tears of the Kingdom, but also I'm kind of relieved at the same time, I guess. If I go a little bit down like this. No, it just doesn't let me. I have to use Animo. Sure, I could spend longer on it, but... How many chests do I have to get? Two more! Awesome! Well, there they are. Four. And... Five. Now you need to pick up our processed meats. There we go. Good process free ingredients. Good process free ingredients. Oh. Sugar. Sausage. Now we can get. Woohoo! That's 50 more Prima gems on level 3. And then we've done nothing in level 4. I think we might have to leave it there for now. I think it's gonna get a bit harder. Then we can offer our Aminoculus so we can get more stamina. Get up to level 5. Boom. Oh yeah, I forgot about our adventure rank rewards. I forgot about our adventure rank rewards. Let's go pick those up real quick. Actually, should we wait till 10? I think it should wait till 10. It's gonna be a lot more satisfying. <gasps> We're almost done. We're almost done. We just need a little bit more. Ooh! Venturing 10! We did it! Ooh, things just got a lot more interesting. So we on the car at level 18. Zhangling at Venture Rank 20. Although we already have a Zhangling. Halai, we need to floor 4. And then Lynette, we need Ascension Materials. But that's... 25 plus so we might not have an animal character until ar25 i think now yeah so we get 10 more pools there we go guys there we go we get 10 more pools okay there we go any primo gems oh just put right rancor excellent our first four star weapon Oh, I don't know if I want to give him physical damage. Should I just put this on Kaya? There you go. Kaya can have to prototype Rancor. There you go. I kind of want a character, but if it's a weapon, I guess I'll be okay with it. Though, four star, I mean, not five star. And I think our Sukro's dreams are dashed. Well, let's see who we get on the standard banner. Our first standard banner pulls. Okay. Who's it gonna be? Or what's it gonna be? Could be a weapon. Please. Oh, I'm so excited. Who am I gonna get? Oh, Hazel! Okay. I'm looking forward to playing with Hazel, but unfortunately we can't really build him quite yet. Okay, Hazel isn't too bad. We can save him for later. And also we have an animal character! Oh, Yes, I didn't just, I just clocked that, I just clocked that. We have an animal character now. It might not be the sucrose we were hoping for, but we do have animo, which means we can get more animoculus on this account. And we're not softlocked. That's really fun. We've got a good team. Because even if we can't build Hazo, for a while, at least we can still have them just to unlock animo totems and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.